Hey everyone, it's your buddy Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to be showing you guys the fastest way to actually farm faction tokens in New World. So there's a couple different really ways to do so, but the fastest one and most efficient one all starts here in Eastburn. If you guys go to the Eastburn outpost that is located on the east side of Great Cleaves territory, you're going to find this in the white zone. It's actually not too hard of an area, it's about level 45 if you're at level probably 40, you can do these very, very quickly and efficiently. Uh, and like I said, faction tokens are easy to come by here. So we're going to jump you guys straight into today's video. So guys, welcome back, like I said, to today's video. We are going to be looking at the fastest way to farm faction tokens, and it all starts with PvP missions. At the very bottom, you're going to see, with PvP enabled, by the way, guys, we do get that 10% bonus, which is going to be very, very helpful in, uh, you know, getting just faster XP rates as well. But like I said, each one of these giving you a substantial amount of tokens. So 750 tokens from uh, the Gather Intel from Stabilized, we get about 603, and then Disrupt, we get about 750. So in today's video, like I said, we're going to show you guys the fastest way to actually do the leveling or really not leveling, but farming of faction tokens, whether you want some new gear or you want some uh, you know different things related to the faction shop. We're going to show you exactly how easy and quick this is. Uh, so if we actually start, like I said, in the Eastburn outpost, we are just going to run up to here, destroy four wolves and then retrieve the experiments and then turn those in over here as well. So it's a very, very fast quest of three PVP missions. You probably will find a lot of players up here, by the way. Uh, you know, release is going crazy. We have a ton of new players jumping into the game. Some people may not know about the spot, but the people that do are going to be returned visitors. They're going to take advantage of this faction, really PvP 3, I guess, PvP faction missions that are very, very easy to do so. And uh, like I said, 10% XP rate while you're flagged. So you may see a lot of players flagged up in these areas. So keep that in mind. As we do see our first wolf today. Uh, we're actually going to take this one out. I am running a random rapier build. It's not really the side I usually go. I usually go the gray side. Um, as you can see, that's not what we're doing. That one, unfortunately, will not count as a kill. We are not in the territory yet for those wolf kills. Um, we're very, very close. And we just have to, like I said, destroy four wolves. Really retrieve this up here in the corner and turn it in. So it's a very, very fast thing that we can do. And I like to go something that's ranged so I can actually drag them toward me, these wolves. And they don't even have to touch me because with the bow, we are, uh, you know, very, very strong as it's leveled up on this account. We have it, like I said, everything's level or max level as I'm also max level 60. Uh, like I said, we got one kill right now. We're looking for some more. We need three wolf kills. And by the way, I'm also doing a lot of extra damage by hitting headshots and wolves are very easy to do so. So find a fast weapon that, uh, you know, can take these out very, very quickly. Also doing, you know, a little bit of extra damage as it's very strong. Um... And we're going to go up to this gather intel. And on the way, like I said, take any wolf you possibly can. Here's another wolf. That's going to be three wolves already, by the way. So that's a great way to kind of start this trip. A very fast way to find three wolves. And let's jump on over to... As it kind of doesn't take that goat out for me. It's just one of the goats on the way. Just might as well take it out. We're going to jump on over here. And we're actually not going to do this lodestone. I am level 200 mining, so I could do this lodestone. We're going to skip right past it. Take these contents and uh, continue on our journey. Just to show you guys, like I said, how fast these faction missions are up here um obviously like i said if there's competition these wolves are going to be a little bit harder to find as you need four but if there's not competition you're going to be able to do these very very quickly make sure to pay attention by the way as well to the area so you're going to see this dotted line you're going to have to actually kill the wolves in this area if you go into these uh, this is a den by the way i'm not sure why it's question marked but if you go in there like i said it's a den they won't count the kills uh, on the wolves so i think this this one should count since it's on the edge. Uh, we're going to find out here in just a second, and it does count. And uh, so we have everything done. We just have to go over here, store experiment results in the locker at the bite, and we are completed with all three faction missions. The cool thing to rem kind of remember, guys, is with stamina, you're going to want to make sure, just to keep this the most efficient and efficient as possible, you're always going to want to have a little bit of stamina on your bar because you do... Uh, you know, run a little bit slower when you do have, you know, no stamina and you're fully recovering. Like, like if I run it all the way down to zero, you can actually see I'm slower now compared to when it catches up. And you can see I caught up just a little bit of speed. It's hard to notice if you guys haven't been playing for a while. But uh, I actually kind of messed up when I was showing you guys that and ran on the wrong side of the mountain. So this is going to be a little bit slower of a run, but just keep that in mind. Um, you know, and just a ton of faction or faction tokens from this. 750 plus 750 plus 603. Do the math yourself. You're going to be able to see that 
you know, you're making about 2,100 in three faction tokens from this run. I'm going to see if I can do this just for our for our purposes, learning purposes here, if we can just run up this mountain. Uh, we may be able to go over here and run up it or make this jump right here. We are able to do that jump. So just uh, keep that in mind. If you do mess up like me, you are still able to jump up from the opposite side that you really shouldn't be on uh, as we make our way over here. And if I was running flesh as well, I'd be using flesh to make it, you know, make my way around the map a little bit quicker. Also with the fire staff, I usually go burnout. Another way to kind of bring up efficiency, just running some of those mobility abilities. Uh, and like I said, not really running anything too special, just the rapier bow right now. Um, and I didn't respect for this run, obviously just to run one to show you guys, like I said, the fastest way to farm those faction tokens, doing some PVP faction missions. And you know, it's very, very quick. And you guys can obviously see that here um, with really, we have these three complete already. And it's great that we're going to be able to return these. If you guys would stick with me here just for a second, as we walk on back, I'm not going to cut any of this just so you guys know exactly how long it takes to do these three, like I said, PVP missions and bring them back to Eastburn's outpost. Um, not long at all. And we're going to be there here in just a second. If you guys haven't explored out to the white zone, I definitely suggest doing so. We are just in the bite um, of the white zone and we are pretty close to Shattered Mountain. We haven't really ventured out in the Shattered Mountain or showed too much content up there quite yet, but that is obviously coming. So if you guys want to stay up to date with that kind of stuff, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel and turn notifications on to stay up to date. Like I said, with everything regarding New World on Eternum, there's going to be a ton of different content, whether it's PVP, PVE guides, tips, tutorials. Uh, we do it all here. You know, we love giving you guys all the greatest information. Like I said, whether it's PVP or PVE, we are going to continue this run. We're very, very close to Eastburn Outpost. Obviously, it kind of depends on where you're located. Marauders have a little bit quicker of efficiency here because you are going to be at the front gate on the, uh, you know, west side. We are actually a syndicate going to be on the southeast gate. Do remember, guys, at release, I am going to actually be, I'm pre-recording this. So this at release, this is not going to be probably the faction I'm running. Probably also not going to be this level when you see the next gameplay. I do want to jump into here and complete these so you can see the tokens and also by the way keep in mind the daily bonus available at the top right so every day you get three daily bonuses available and they're going to give you bonus um, I believe it's XP as well as we'll see here in just a second actually so if we click that daily mission bonus rewarded and yeah like I said it gives you a daily bonus really uh, I think it's XP and faction to I'm not sure if it gives you a bonus on everything to be honest but uh like I said, take advantage of those daily bonuses. Obviously not a bad thing to do. And then also, if you guys haven't, you know, in the comments, if you guys could let me know what those daily bonuses actually do, I'm sure I'll know by the time I put this video out. But um, <laughs> it's just one of those things where there's so much information to gather on New World. They're missing out some of those little things. Uh, a lot of people just kind of forget on, and that's exactly what I did there. But, you know, like I said, a very, very quick way to get those faction tokens. As you see, now I have 2,903, and uh, I could re-pick them up and just go right back out on my way. Very, very quick. And uh, like I said, Eastburn Outpost. This is going to be located right on the east side of Great Cleave. And you can see that all you have to do is run here, kill four wolves, run here, pick that up. And then uh, I believe it's what about right here? You drop it off and you're done with the faction token or really faction missions. Um, and then you could turn it in for those faction tokens. So thank you again for tuning in. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel and turn notifications on. I'll see you guys all on the next one.